In this video, we are creating custom views. For this, we will be creating a custom image, a custom text, and a custom text field. So let's get started. Single view app. Custom views, Swift UI, obviously, and desktop, create. We don't need this. Uh, let's just add an asset that we're going to use today. It's a picture. Okay. Now we don't need this. Now let's get started. First, we will create a struct. A fruit. Let's give it a variable called pick string. Another variable called name string. In content view, we will be instantiating it. Let my fruit equals fruit orange and name orange so let's just leave it at this for now and we will create a custom view we'll call it shrub fruit view type view let's give it a variable more fruit of type fruit for body of type some view Let's just give it a text temporarily. This is a temporary thing. A text that says food dot name. Okay. And in here we will create a new fruit view Jacks for a fruit and we give it my fruit let's see how it looks what no we have a name does have a name Oh shit. So, ah, uh, I made a mistake. It's a fruit. See, these things happen. Okay. Okay. It's working. <coughs> okay. Let's move it a little bit here and it's it's giving out the name of our fruit good now we can start working on the views let's start with a picture struct a uh, fruit pick mm. view let's call it pick string String body again now 
party. Some do. We call it MSF big string. Let's see if this works. Hmm. No M is here. That's because we have not specified here. Let's remove this and let's call it feedback pick string feed dot pick. Should work now. Yep. It does, but we're getting a big, big, big slice of an orange. So let's resize it. Not here. Where's our picture? Image. Resizable dot frame. And let's give it around 200. I think this would be good. 200 and dot center. Looks good. Yep, okay. Let's do some extra customization for this image. Let's do clip first. Circle. Now we can do shadow. I don't know, 40. Again, now overlay. Let's make it a sort of circle. Because, because our clip shape is a circle. Stroke uh, color, let's make it white would be all right. Line with uh, four or five, four, okay. Let's see how it looks now. Ha, huh. a lot better. So I think we're done with image here. So let's create another custom view. And this time for the name of the fruit. Struct, uh, let's call it fruit name, which is a view. Now what we want to do here is var name string of the type string. Var body. No, some view. Text name string and let's give it a font. Um, what do we want to give it? Uh, last item. So here, let's add this now. Fruit name, name string, fruit dot name. Let's test it. What is happening here? Another error. Hmm. Hmm. Should not be a problem. Oh, shit. You know what? We want to give. Okay, we need a VStack. Let's put it inside the VStack. I hope there won't be any more errors now. 
Yep. It's working. Okay. So the final thing we need is the amount of these fruits. Shrugged fruit amount. which is a few now state for amount of type integer equal one for body of type some few That stack again we forgot to use free stack here we got problem so this time let's just use add stack okay so I want there to be a text field here and I also want to be a label here that says amount so let's create that label first text Mount and I want this to be bold. Hmm. Of course, we're not going to get this now because we have not, since we have already made this route, we can add it. Fruit name, no, fruit amount, and we will probably get the amount text here in bold. Yep, we do have it now. Finally, we can create our text field. Mm -hmm. Binding formatter. And we also need uh, on comment. Formatter, I am just going to use number formatter. And binding, obviously. amount so what this is is let's run it first <clears throat> so what this is is whenever we want which we change this value of this text field we want there we want we want there to be it changes instantly whenever we commit to it. So, in this closure, what we're going to do is print. We just want to show here what the changed value. So, self dot amount dot value. So it should show here if we change make any changes here. Let's test it. Yep. Good. So we want to stylize this thing because it's not looking good right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into text field style dot rounded board.
yep we're getting this now we also don't want this to go from here to here so in this add stack what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do apply some padding in the add stack padding horizontal padding of 100 Mm, it's too much. 120 seems to be okay. Okay, it's all right, I guess. So let's uh, once again, if we change the value here and press enter, it's changing. 3, it's changing. 32 okay it's changing it's working so the whole point of doing these things instead of just putting everything in the content view is that we want this code these code to be reusable for example now if you want to create a second fruit here let your fruit equals to fruit Ah, we only have a picture of an orange right now, so mm, orange. And for name, we're gonna give second orange. And just create. Let's just create a V stack. And a second orange here. Fruit view. Your fruit. Let's see if this works. Like we just added two lines here. Not counting the stack. We added two lines and we have this again here. 32, 32, it's working. 42, 42, it's working. So this has been an introduction to custom views that has image, text, and text field.